Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to GT Online. Today we're going to be customising the Declasse Yosemite 1500 pickup. So this is our final day one vehicle. We've customised all of these vehicles over the last few days. Uh, in the last episode, we customised this, the new Bullocon Envisage. I absolutely adore that vehicle. I'm so happy Rockstar added it to the game. And now we're going to be customising a GTA 6 MPC car by the looks of it. Um, it's based on the Chevy Silverado 1500, for those of you who don't know. Um, and just look at this thing, it's clearly going to be an MPC car in GTA 6. Um, but I'm hoping that it's going to have some decent customization in GTA 5. It is in the off-roads category, which is surprising, because I thought it would be in the vans and utility. But no, it is in the off-road category, so that might mean we have some cool off-road customization with this thing. But let's take it up to the custom shop and have a little look. All right, here we are in the custom shop with our new Yosemite 1500 pickup truck. Uh, we're going to fully deck this thing out, but it doesn't look like it's got a whole bunch of options. Uh, so we might see more options for this thing when it gets added to GTA 6. Um, but for now, let's go see what we have in GTA 5. We'll put full armor on this thing. We'll put some race brakes on there race brakes on a pickup that's quite funny um so the primary color at the moment is white the secondary color will be black i assume uh front bumper options we have the stock front bumper we can go for a primary bumper so the stock is chrome we can go for a primary bumper we can go for a secondary bumper which is black we've got the heavy duty bumper we've got a heavy duty bumper with tow hook we've got the utility bumper We've got a utility bumper with tow hook, and it also adds that bull bar. We've got the Declasse bumper, which adds a big fog light in the middle there. And then we've got the Declasse bumper with ram bar. Um, not really sure what kind of build I want to go for this thing. I'm assuming I'm going to go for an off-road build, like an off-road pickup. Um, it is quite a long vehicle for off-roading. Um, I'm not really too sure. Do we go for the heavy duty or do we go for heavy duty with tow hook? We'll go for the one with the tow hook because I'm curious to see whether those little spotlights down the bottom there actually work. You guys know that I like to test out whether the lights actually work on vehicles. So we'll apply that one and see whether those lights actually work. On the rear bumper, we've got the stock rear bumper, which is also chrome. We can go for a primary version of that, secondary version of that. We've got a utility bumper, so you can fully make this thing into like a utility MPC car if you want to. We've got the utility bumper 2, which adds those extra little lights down there. We've got the off-road bumper and the off-road bumper 2, which adds some extra lights. Then we've got the heavy duty bumper and the heavy duty bumper 2. What's the difference with them? It adds some little holes in there for some reason. I think we're going to go for the off-road bumper. Um, I'm not a huge fan of those lights on the back. They look a bit odd. Um, so we'll have that to sort of match the front, I guess. Um, sure. Engine upgrades. We've got no visual stuff. Wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. The exhaust options. We've got um, one single side exit on the passenger side there. Had to think for a minute because we are technically in America. Um, we can go for a chrome exhaust, which, which basically just turns it backwards. We've got a titanium version of that. Then we got the angled chrome exhaust. No we can go for dual titanium. We can go for dual angled. We can go for the side exit, which is actually on both sides. We've got the bed stack exhausts. And we've got the interior, oh sorry, exterior stack exhausts. I'm not sure that would be illegal, that would be legal, to be honest, because that would probably get very hot. 
Um, I think we're just going to go for this one, just the single angled chrome exhaust. That looks quite cool. Grill options next. We've got this very generic looking grill. We can go for um, a chrome grill. We can go for the slat grill. The chrome slat grill, heavy duty, utility. We've got the chrome heavy duty and we've got the chrome utility. Um, I think we're going to go for the slatted grill. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget. Uh, that looks quite good. It'd be nice if we could remove some of that chrome around, sort of like the headlights and around the grill. That might be an option later on. We'll have to wait and see. Hood options next. So we've got a very flat generic hood. We can go for dual, dual intake. We can go for a secondary dual intake and a carb version of that. Then we've got the dual vented in secondary and in carbon. We've got a scooped hood, and we've got that in secondary and that in carbon. Then we've got a performance hood. We've got that in secondary, and we've got that in carbon. We've got a cowled hood. And we've got that in secondary and in carbon. Oh, God. We can actually go for a blower. Okay. <laughs> We've got the dual filter blower. We've got the large filter blower. We've got the oval intake bug catcher. And we've got the triple intake bug catcher. They don't really look right on this vehicle. But the option is nice. Um, I think we're just going to leave it stock, to be honest. I don't think any of those look right on this vehicle, in my opinion. Uh, the headlights and things, we'll check them out when we go outside. Livery options next. So we've got no livery. We can go for white stripes, which you can't really see very well because the car's white. But we've got a black version as well, which goes right over the back. We've got the disruption burn camo, which is very strange. I don't know if that's a reference to something in real life. I'm not sure. We've got the teroil. Um which I guess is kind of like a cool racing livery. We've got Auto Exotic. We've got the Thrift X Camo. We've got the Exorbio 720 Camo. So the Exorbio 720 is supposed to be like Xbox in GTA Online, in the sort of GTA Online universe, for those of you who don't know. So this is supposed to be like an Xbox livery, I guess. We've got the yellow pinstripe, and we've got the red pinstripe. These are quite cool. I like these. Um, I imagine we'll see some NPC cars probably in GTA 6 with these pinstripes on, because it's supposed to be set in Miami, GTA 6, and um, they like sort of pinstriping cars down in Miami. So... Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. I'm not going to go for any of these, but the pinstripe ones are quite nice. I do like those. The mirror options. So we've got some standard black mirrors. We can go for those in chrome or in carbon. We're just going to leave them black. Would have been nice if we had a primary option for those. No um, a plate options. It's a very... <laughs> that plate is really small for some reason. Um, but yeah, we've got a plate on the front. Uh, sorry, a plate on the back, and we don't have a plate on the front. Uh, did it actually remove? Did it have a plate? Yeah, so it did have a plate standard. Uh, when we applied the winch, it removed it. Okay, so if you want to keep the one on the front, then I guess. Yeah. Um, we'll come back to respray at the end. Not really 100% what colour I want to paint this thing. Uh, so we'll come back to that later. Roll cage options. We've got the rear roll cage. We've got a utility roll cage, which is just add some fuel cans. We've got the fuel cell with roll cage. So if you want to build this thing into like a racing truck. And we've got the bed rack, which obviously is like an NPC mod. Uh, we're just going to leave that standard, to be honest. Not really a fan of any of them. We've actually got some sunstrip options on this. So we can go for a plastic sunstrip, primary or secondary in black. Uh, skirt options next. 
we can go for some tube steps. We got tube step two. We got side steps, drilled steps, stinger steps, and utility steps. Um, I'm building this sort of as an off-road vehicle, so we want as much ground clearance as possible. So we're not going to go for any of those. We have actually got some spoiler options. So we can go for a, a low-level ducktail. We can go for a mid-level ducktail, which adds sort of like the NASCAR strut mounts on the back. We've got a high level ducktail. Then we've got the carbon track wing. We've got the carbon GT wing and the carbon autocross wing. They all look ridiculous on this vehicle, but it's nice to have the option. I always say that it doesn't hurt to have extra options for people who do want to do that sort of thing. Now I'm going to keep the suspension raised, but Let's see what kind of drop we get. It's not massive, to be honest. Um, a, a little bit bigger drop would have been nice. It would have been cool to slam this thing, to be honest. That would look really cool. Um, we'll go for full race transmission and turbo tuning. And then uh, wheels. I think we want something in the off-road category. I'll go and pick something suitable, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I've gone for these chrome mud slingers. Um, they're in the off-road category. They look kind of cool. Um, I don't know whether we want to go for some tire layering with this thing. What's that going to look like? I guess that kind of looks cool, so we'll go for that. I do like the tire lettering on the off-road vehicles. I think it looks pretty cool. We'll go for bulletproof tires as well. And then we'll just go for a light, uh, light smoke window tint i wish you could remove that 1500 on the side because that is just like a very generic font it just doesn't look very good i thought that was going to get removed with some delivery options sadly it did not and i'm not a fan of that sort of chrome strip along the side either uh, but there we go uh, now i have no idea what color to paint this thing i quite like that yeah, I don't like that chrome strip up the side. Um, then we've got interior trim colour. We can actually change the whole interior trim if we want. What does it look like with sandy brown on the interior? It's a little bit too much sandy brown going on. So we'll just leave that black. But there we go. That is my build for the Yosemite um, 1500. We'll go ahead and take this thing outside. We'll, we'll test its off-road capabilities a little bit. I think a few more off-road options would have been nice. Like maybe some sort of roof lights would have been cool. Like a big LED bar on the front. Um, maybe some more bed options would have been welcome. Um, but yeah, I think this is just supposed to be like a generic NPC car in GTA 6. So they weren't going too crazy with it. But yeah, we'll take it outside, open up all the doors and see what we can do with this thing. Okay, so we've travelled up to Sandy Shores. We're going to do some off-roading in a minute. But before we do that, let's have a little look around the vehicle with the doors open. So we've got a pretty detailed engine bay, actually. Um, we've got a decent looking intake in there. And uh, exhaust manifold as well. But then the lower part of the engine, which you can see, is not very detailed. The battery on this car is also terrible which is quite funny um it would have been nice if we'd had some sort of visual engine options for this we did have like the bug catchers and stuff um which i guess counts as sort of visual engine stuff but some different like filters and things if we could have put some different uh, valve covers on that would have been cool uh, but let's have a look at the interior very very generic nothing special i'm sure this is i think this is out of one of the other vehicles um you guys can let me know in the comment section below but it kind of fits with this vehicle um it is only like a two and a half door uh, so it is technically classed as a two door in gt online so you can't actually take your buddies with you so you can't really use this if it if you're planning on doing any heists or stuff um but you can actually open the truck bed which is kind of cool. Um, and apart from that, 
that's about it really. So let's go and do some off-road testing with this thing. Uh, the, the pickup turned out a little bit more goldy coloured now that we're outside. But let's see how this thing performs in some deep water testing here. I love driving down this river just to see how much water the vehicles can cope with. Now this thing doesn't have any kind of snorkel on it, not that the snorkels really work in GTA anyway. But it's got through that okay. Now this thing is quite long, so I don't know how it's going to cope with some of the rock crawling. But we've got a little bit of a rock climb here. Now our bumpers probably aren't going to help much with the departure and approach angles. This thing I think is just rear wheel drive. Let me see. Well, maybe it is all wheel drive. I'm not actually sure. Um, we'll give it another little test on this hill here. Let's, uh, no, it is all wheel drive. Okay, that is interesting. I did think this thing was just rear wheel drive, but no. That means it will be quite good at off roading. Let's go up the hill here and see how it copes with a little bit of a rocky hill climb here. This is where the vehicle will struggle a little bit is uh, when you're going over rocks and stuff because of the length of it it probably will bottom out a little bit but it's got quite a bit of torque it's got up there with relative ease um, I kind of like the look of this thing it's like a generic NPC car uh, it's kind of the sort of vehicle that you'd buy if you were on a bit of a low budget it does have fairly good downhill brakes as well um, it's not climbing back up, but it's also not sliding down, so that's a good sign. It is fairly capable off-road. It has some off-road customization. Let's be honest, most people are going to build this thing as an off-road vehicle. Um, it got through the deep water pretty well. We submerged it right over the roof, and it didn't sink, it didn't drown. I think the length of this thing is probably what let it, will let it down for serious off-roading um, but I'm kind of happy with this thing it will be a good NPC car in GTA 6 I think um, let me know what you guys think are you going to be buying this thing or are you not really bothered that Rockstar added it I'm not really going to be buying this thing although it is kind of cool it's just not really my kind of taste I like the older pickups a little bit more and I like stuff like the Sand King that actually have some decent off-road customization. This thing just is lacking a little bit in the customization department for me. But let me know what you guys think of this thing, uh, whether you're going to be buying it. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. We're going to be customizing all the new drip feed vehicles as they get added. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. And if you did enjoy this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.